Welcome to the Egg and Rider Kitchen. Today we'll be teaching you how to cook chicken cordon bleu. The first step for cooking chicken cordon bleu is setting the oven to 350 degrees. You want to do that right away so it can preheat. Our oven's already preheated, but that would be your first step. The first thing you have to do with chicken cordon bleu itself is you want to take the chicken breast and you want to get a good piece of saran wrap about two times bigger than the piece, maybe a little bit larger, and you fold it over. This will help prevent messes when you use your meat hammer to make it much thinner. So we're gonna start by just pounding it down. Don't be scared, you're not gonna hurt the chicken. You wanna pound it nice and flat, you can see how it gets kinda of messy. All right, so you wanna get it about that flat. And then once you take it off, you can see now this is going to be much easier to roll. You can split a couple pieces off of that. And then uh, that will be nice and easy for chicken cordon bleu. I'm going to take it down a little bit lower then. But for now, that's pretty good. So now the next step is we have the chicken all pounded out. It's nice and thin like that. We sliced the breast in half for class because I didn't want to make them too big before lunch and everything. So now we have our little half tablespoon of butter here. We have our Swiss cheese up here. And we have our ham up here too. You can see how thinly sliced everything is. It tastes a lot better when it's thinly sliced. So we're gonna take a piece of cheese and a piece of ham. And you just kinda of wanna make it so that it fits in there without going out the sides. And stack that right in the center too. Add your piece of butter. Minced garlic tastes awesome on top. So you take about Half tablespoon, not exact measurements, it's more fun when you're not exact. Put that right on top. And then, once you have this step, this is where you add your spices. So, I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic and sea salt. I've tried this before. Just a little bit, you don't wanna over season it. And then our salt's already in it, so we don't need that. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of oregano on here too. And that's the filling part of the chicken cordon bleu. The next step you wanna do is you wanna roll up your chicken cordon bleu. For this step, you wanna just try to keep everything inside the chicken so you don't lose any flavor if it falls out. So you're just gonna roll it up, try to keep everything right in the center. Just like that. Once you have it here, it looks like a mess. However, all you do, put it right in the tin foil. This will help you keep everything together. Now before this step is over, you can add in some dressing like um, some of this Greek dressing. This tastes really good in here. So I just roll it up so it keeps it together a little bit there and then just a little bit goes in. Now this is just for preference. This tastes very good I think, but you could always leave this step out. So then once you get that, you want to wrap it up nice and tight, make sure everything stays in and then that is technically ready to go. Now, just so you don't lose any of the juices, you can wrap it up in the opposite direction. And that will help it stay in even better. And then once that step is done, you place it in your pan. You want a deep pan that way that none of the juices spill out in case they get outside of that. And then you're ready to go. All right, so that takes about 10 to 15 minutes to get it all wrapped up like this as your final product. Um, you just want it in a deep pan like this. That way nothing spills out. Your oven should be preheated by up to 350, and you want to aim for one of the middle racks so it cooks the best. So I'd put that one probably there, and if this one fits beside it, so you've got there perfect. Be careful when you're putting that in, you don't burn your hands. Set the timer for 35 minutes, and then check on them after that. And that concludes the processing stage of getting this chicken cordon bleu ready, and then we'll show you when it's all done. Now all we have left to do, now that the oven rang, we pulled it out. We're going to just pull one out and we're going to show you what the finished product looks like. Here you got to be a little bit careful to not burn yourself. You can see all the steam coming out of it. There's a lot of good juices in here too. So I just pull it out like this. Looks good. Roll it right out onto the plate. And put all them juices right on there with it. And then that's your finished product. Chicken cordon bleu. Egg and Rider Productions. Are you watching it? <laughs>